My client, Kristen Brown, would like to formally request the termination of this best friendship. As does mine. Let's negotiate the terms. <clears throat> My client requests that if either party should need a phone conversation, she must first text the other party to see if it's a good time. No more randomly calling to see what's up. Who calls people anymore? What are the terms for needing a phone conversation? Hmm. Uh, death in the family, death in Game of Thrones. Actually, I think that's more of a text message condolence. Okay, striking Game of Thrones. No, 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 death in the family. I mean, what are you supposed to even say? But if Jon Snow dies, I will be FaceTiming you. <clears throat> Write that down. If Jon Snow dies, she will be FaceTiming. What about birthdays? How will those be handled? Both parties must still wish each other an annual happy birthday via text. Let's keep it brief. Three sentences max, and one of those needs to be super cliche, something like, Hope you have a good one, or wishing you many more. Three emojis. No less, no more. Let's be clear, the upside down smiley is not a positive emoji. My client will not have any of that passive aggressiveness. Agreed. <sighs> ah. My client's mom is no longer going to assume your client's attendance for family dinners. What? No. But Auntie makes the best barbecue chicken, and Kristen's a vegetarian. She can't even appreciate it. Mm, so sad. Best barbecue chicken. Which brings me to item number 12. Per this agreement, each client relinquishes the right to call the other client's mom, auntie. My client will remain close friends with Ted, Kev, and Kim, while your client will have friendship custody over Brian, Tina, and Joseph. Sorry, that's not gonna work. I've been dating Kev for two years. You can't have Kev. <coughs> Tina has a problem. All right, whatever. It wasn't gonna work out anyway. Let's discuss public interactions, shall we? My client would like to maintain a hug upon greeting, as to not make third parties in the room feel awkward. I'm sure you understand. Define hug. One arm, minimal eye contact. And no more jokingly grabbing each other's butts. Wait, 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 no, she does squats, it's so firm. You can't be friends with benefits, you just let that one go. All right, what about subtweets and Instagrams directed at me? You do not have to answer that. We need assurance that your client will not slander the name and likeness of my innocent client. There is no proof that my client has committed any such act. Best friends has 11 letters. So does backstabber. That could be anyone. And she tagged me. Fine, one subtweet per week for the first three weeks. What? No! And she has 40 followers. Pick your battles. Do we have an agreement? We do. Now to make it official, we'll exit while listening to the Friends theme song in reverse. So see you in class tomorrow? Yep. Yo, did you like that video? How relatable, hashtag relatable. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. My last video is right over there. Second vlog channel right over there. New merch, lilycity.com. Get it done and make sure you subscribe because I make new videos every Monday and Thursday. One love, Superwoman. That is a wrap and zoop. Wow.